Hello, hello. Um, my name is It's Lane, or I guess that's my channel name. Um, I wanted to start doing a bit of a uh, offline, uh, offline recording of the one of the friends servers that I'm in. Um, I guess uh, one of the main things I wanted to do today uh, was just clearing out an area for a future stream. Um, because we have a bunch of things that we have planned, and I wanted to just chat uh, while we were clearing out that area. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube and do not have context of uh, anything that is on Twitch, which is what it's from, uh, this is it. I primarily stream this on Twitch. Uh, this is the uh, funny friends server. The friends, the word friends is replaced with the F word. Um, I'm just not going to say it on YouTube because I don't really know what their monetization stuff is. I don't really care either way, but... Um, and uh, this is a server that's with a bunch of my friends. Uh, hosted by me. It is. It has a couple of plug. It has a bunch of plugins and data packs, um, so we can actually enjoy playing the game and and make it seem like it's not just out of the blue. Um, I'll probably give a little bit of an introduction to the area that we'll be working in as I make more recordings of this. Um, for example, there's a big ominous shadowy building over there. Uh, I'm gonna be working underneath the diner today. Um, McLovin's Fine Dine, specifically. And, I guess I can give a little tour of this place. Uh, this is, like I said, McLovin's Fine Dine. Uh, this is kind of the main hub of where people hang out. Um, it's where most of the music is. We have a bunch of custom music discs. Um from videos that we've taken and, and put on the discs and uh, we have little characters here we have Rob Zombie and Pendleton uh, Pendleton is our famous Enderman uh, we have Rupert as well uh, and Jules and Madame Moselle uh, and then an NPC named Jules as well um in between, when I streamed on Twitch and when I am recording this video on the 14th of March, um, we implemented a plugin for adding NPCs. So I could just go through and add a new NPC whenever. Um, I think I might end up doing that every once in a while on uh, these videos. But for now, we will just hang out and uh, do other things. Like I said, uh, we're going to be working underneath here. Uh, the way I usually check and see if stuff works is we usually have... I have a free cam mod. Uh, we've pretty much mapped out everything underground here anyway. Uh, it, the entrance is going to be back here. And it's going to go right underneath the diner. Uh, in between my underground base and the surface. Uh, either that, or it's going to go under here, and then go in this area. It really depends, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but it is going to be based off of the um, afterlife from Cyberpunk 2077. Which is a, uh, an important detail. Um... Now, one of the main reasons why I was... Let me just turn on... Well, I can't do that. That's a shame. Uh, one of the main reasons why I ended up uh, doing this so late uh, in this server's... Or actually, not like right when the server started and wanting to do this afterwards is because I've 
always had an interest in making videos like this. Ones where I just chat and I talk. Um, and I just kind of ramble while I am uh, doing menial, un really uh, unrequired tasks. So you guys can get a bit of a sense of what is going on in my general time while just wa having some comforting stuff to watch. Um. Okay, so this is the direction of the diner. Okay, so I'm going the opposite. I need to go back here. And this is the direction I'm going to want it to go in. Let me double check. I don't even know what direction I want it to go in. I think I want it to go... Gross. Uh, I think I want it to go a couple of blocks lower. While also... Um... Because I kind of wanted to be able to look at the uh, this area here. So I might have it go a couple of blocks lower. Yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. Let me fill this stuff in and I'll... I don't know what that little path is, by the way. Uh, we explored it, and it don't really know what it leads to. It doesn't lead anywhere. It leads underneath uh, my friend Eli's house, under one of his chests. It leads right here. Oh, it might actually lead into this cave. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know. Pretty much. Long story short, I do not know. Um, but yeah, I wanted to clear out this area and get this set up for it because, you know. Okay, so I want it to go north and north and east. Yeah, north and east. Northeast. Um, but yeah, uh, I've always adored, ever since I started, um, making any kind of, uh, entertainment on the internet, I've always wanted to, uh, create... YouTube videos like this, where I was pretty much just playing Minecraft and talking over it without much editing, nothing too major, um, and just talking about random topics. Um, as someone that has streamed for most of the time uh, on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash it's lane live. Um, I've wanted to do something like this, where I've, where I've kind of recorded myself, like I said, recorded myself and, uh, set up proper, um, just like topics, random topics, uh, Let me see, they should have one. There we go, dynamic light. Um, 
I just love these kinds of very low key, very, very chill podcasty type videos. It makes me feel like I'm on a kind of personal level with the person that whose video it is. And I watched a video recently um, by, uh, I think it's, I think their YouTube channel is Under the Cap, something like that. And they mentioned specifically how they saw someone else do this and they thought the same thing that I did. Where they were like, oh man, I really want to do this. And because of that, they recorded a very frank video. They pretty much just recorded themselves talking for a while and didn't edit out their voice, didn't edit out the imperfections, anything like that. It was all just very candid. If that makes sense. And I saw that, and I saw that as a, a piece of inspiration, um, because I just enjoy doing those things. It's something that I enjoy doing, uh, is being very frank and very candid. Um, I wouldn't say that I don't like being vulnerable as much as I would prefer, uh... Interact, uh, as much as I would prefer things that I make to have that kind of personal connection uh, that old YouTube videos had. And I do genuinely feel like these old YouTube videos were nice to listen to in the background while you did other things. So if you're making food in the morning, drinking your first cup of coffee of the day, um, or winding down after work, or maybe it's the middle of the day. Maybe you're getting something done that you've been meaning to get done for a long time. That's always what I like to, that's always what I like to see, um, is being an accessory to somebody's day. Uh, through the stuff that I make. I think that's one of the things that I enjoy more than anything. Is knowing that... I help someone get through their day. Because sometimes people need that. Um... But yeah. Uh, speaking about this server... Uh, I'll just... I don't care what YouTube wants me to do. Uh, speaking about this server, actually called the Funny Fucker server, um, we have a bunch of, we, at least a couple, like a month ago, we had a bunch of smaller data packs that had minimal effect on the gameplay experience of server. We were kind of focusing on vanilla and avoiding the... Avoiding any, like, heavily modded things. Because before this server, uh, around a year ago, um, we had a different uh, iteration of this server, which was modded. And we were playing Texit. And it was... The reason why we stopped playing it was because there was so much going on all the time. That we were just having issues constantly. Um, we kind of explored all the different mods and we just didn't really want to go forward with it. Because everyone that would try and access the server had to install like 8 million old mods and make sure it was the right version. And sometimes their computer wouldn't work. So we were just getting data packs in. Um, ones that didn't have too much of a detriment on exploring and, and using the world around us. So that anyone from a low-end to a high-end PC could play on this server. 
Um, now, of course, I'm no expert when it comes to Minecraft optimizations. Personally, I've been playing and watching Minecraft for many, many years. Um, I've been I've been watching Minecraft since the Yogg's cast started their uh, first Let's Play. Um, of course, I was very young back then, but can't really change that fact. Um, but I've been interacting with Minecraft and has had, I, it has been my favorite game for Many's a year. Many's a year. A long, long time. I think it's safe to say it's been almost 10 years. I've almost had this game for 10 years in August. Um, now, I say that because uh, I want to specify I don't really know the most about this game. I don't know how the optimizations work. Um, as you can see, I'm running shaders. Uh, I have a uh, NVIDIA 4070, I think. I have an NVIDIA 4070. And that motherfucker does not work uh, with shaders on this server. It doesn't. It does work. It's, it's wonderful. But, like, it's very laggy. I have a lot of issues with lag on the server, frequently. Um, it's likely because my I use Bobby, which is a render distance extender. Um, like, as you can see here, uh, my frames went from 20 to 30. Not much has changed. I don't know... I could hit Shift F3, but I have to like change this back down to two, which is what I usually have it on, and then have it Shift F3, and it still doesn't work. And for some reason, it doesn't work. I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't get it. Um. But it. It's a good example. Minecraft is a very strange game to me. I know most of its ins and outs. I know how most of these things work. Uh, and I know how most of the aspects of the functions of this game work. I know that uh, I have some client-side mods that help me figure out where things are. And I pretty much just chill. Like, I, I don't run into many troubles with this game. Um, the only thing I usually have trouble with are the, um, the frame rate. Like I said, it's a weird situation because I run into issues with the frame rate and I try and help other people with it. I try and install other client side mods to help with it. As you could see by this mod list. It's insane. Um, why do I have simple storage here? I shouldn't. This isn't on the server. Um, maybe it's like stuff like this. Or maybe it'll just crash. Who knows? It literally just did that, huh? While I was recording. Well, ladies and women. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Hold on, I'm restarting it. But it brings up a really good point whenever i'm creating videos like this or i'm recording something or 
trying to uh, set up or optimize games, make them look pretty. Uh, I always see other people using shaders, and I'll hop on other servers and shaders will work fine, but on this server it won't. I think that's just because of the entities that we have in small areas. There's a lot of entities everywhere. Um, and whenever that happens, I find myself wondering and hoping that I might be able to actually get some kind of uh like I hope that sometimes I'll like actually find what the issue is. Maybe it won't be that day, maybe it won't be today. But as you can see here, I'm running Oh, oh. You can tell that something loaded in there, and it lagged me really bad. Right now I'm running 60 frames. Who knows. But that all comes back to why I created this server as a vanilla server. Um, because on this server, uh, I usually when I create servers like this, I keep in mind that some of the people that join or some of the people that are able to don't have good computers. I obviously having a good computer is a luxury. I don't want anyone to feel like they're not allowed to join because we have a complicated mod pack. And even then, the most important thing to me, even more important than that, is the concept that when I create a uh, when I create a, a server or a community or I stream somewhere or I uh, record a video and put it somewhere I want it to be I, I want to make it in a way that lets anyone feel like they could be involved Like in this case. Um, I told you where I got my inspiration from very clearly. Um, and specified that this is where I got it from. This is the specifics. I got my inspiration from here. Um, I'll even link them in the description of this video, probably. But like, I, I just want... I just like these kinds of very candid videos. It was always my favorite thing to watch. Um, and that's why whenever I do things like this, it makes me feel like I'm helping other people Feel that kind of interconnectedness that I originally felt. Um, which is why, if you guys ever have any suggestions of things that you want me to chat about related to this server, that being uh, the history of how it started, um, any kind of official tour. If you want any kind of tour of this uh, server and all the different landmarks that are on it. Um, shoot a comment. Because I enjoy that. Um, and I may do a proper tour. Because I haven't done one in a while. And uh, once I finish this line, I'll show you guys the map. Just to... Possibly jog interest. Come on. And before you ask, 
yes, I do have uh, a wall jump mod on this server. It's client side, which is really cool. And um, it's actually part of a mod pack that I manage that's client side called the Skulk Pack. So this, after a year, wow, it's dark. Why is it so dark with shaders? I have an idea. Hold on. Chat, I'm getting I'm getting sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. Where is it? Where are you? Uh down here. End rods. Okay. But yeah. Uh the fundamentals of the server. I'm sorry. That's the conversation I was on before. The fundamentals of the server. The funny fucker server in... Uh, as a... Uh, fundamentally. Is a... Accessibility... First... Um... Kind of server. Uh, one of the main things that we have not done yet... Is we have not gone to the end. That is an off limits area the only reason why we have end rods is because we have a single piece of end stone and a single chorus fruit but yeah this is the uh this is the map um i'll actually zoom in like this and then just kind of we oh let me just got the Wow, wow. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of history on this server, a lot of references to internal things on this server, which is why whenever I mention anything in any of these videos, um, Ignore this, by the way. These are cats' names. These are cats' names. Um, a different member named their cats after YouTubers. But, um... Some of these areas... Uh, if I do a full tour, I'll give a full explanation of every single one of these. But like, for example, the diner, we usually call the diner, but it is McLovin's fine dine. Um, and then we have the Gurch, the pride church, things like that. Uh, we have references to things that we usually do. And that's why I usually want to, um, talk about those. And that's why I like doing these videos on the server because I just enjoy talking about them. Um, and, again, this server's only a year old. Um. As much as I, uh. As much as I want to say, oh, we have so much history. We don't really. All this stuff was built in survival. Albeit for a single build. But everything's been built in survival. Everything was built by hand here. This pride cathedral. I'm going over here to get some of the chorus flowers that I harvested before. Um. But yeah, all of this has been done in survival. Uh, we've done all this by hand. The main reason why uh, it has so much history is because within that year, we've done so much. What seems like an unreasonable amount of things have been done on this server. To the point where it feels like it's been more than a year. 
Um, but as we go about, th as we run up to around 30 minutes on this video, um, I also apologize for rambling while I go through these, but, um, I wanted to emphasize that these videos may not be frequent or often, but I want to end up doing these kinds of things. Maybe, maybe pulling a, uh, maybe doing like an ask box where someone asks a question and I'll ramble on about it for a while as I play Minecraft. Just some general thought stuff. Uh, as I get some busy work done on the server. I just enjoy doing those things here. It, it makes me really happy to be able to ramble about this stuff. Um, and it's a good alternative to streaming sometimes. Because I know not everyone has access to streaming all the time. And they can watch these videos whenever they want to. You might be watching this 10 minutes after it goes up. Or you might be watching it... 10 hours, or 10 days, or 10 months, or 10 years. God, I hope it's not... I hope this isn't up after 10 years. It will be. I, I refuse to keep it... To put it down after 10 years. But, um... I hope that if it does... If you guys... Whatever time you guys are watching this... I hope you guys take some time for yourself. Make sure that you're keeping yourself as safe and healthy as you possibly can be. Make sure that you treat the people around you with the respect that you, uh, that you want to be given to yourself. And more importantly than anything else, make sure you get some rest. Everyone deserves a bit of rest. Um, to avoid this video going on for too long, uh, I will clean up some of this, some of these natural blocks, and I'll put them in a, in my industrial-sized composter. Ah. And I will keep half a stack of those. Keep half a stack of those. I don't know how many of these I have, so I'm just gonna. A lot of those. Okay. Uh, food shit that goes there. That I can just. I'm just gonna toss that. I'm not gonna go back up there. Uh, birch saplings. Oak saplings. God, I got a lot of all of those. You know what? I'll end over here. Oh my god, hi Robin! Hello! But yeah. Um... I am going to end off this- and sign off this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, and you are not yet subscribed, it would be greatly appreciated if you did. It helps me out, lets me know that I'm doing the right thing. Um... And I will... See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.